What's up everybody? I'm Virginia Raspberry and you're watching another episode of Virginia Tries Almost Everything. So the inspiration behind today's episode was kind of out of nowhere. Um, I was just in 7-Eleven one day getting some gas and I looked at the food and this guy, he had like a hot dog and like a big gulp and he seemed like really excited like he was about to really enjoy his food and I just thought to myself I was like why is he so happy about his food <laughs> and I thought to myself like you know it can't be that good it's gas station food and I, and I was wondering like I wonder what gas station has the best food and that's how that idea came about and so I decided that I was gonna embark on trying to find the best gas station food and little did I know that I was actually in for a treat yeah. I almost forgot a slushie. How am I gonna do this stuff on the back of the slushie? Uh, Alright. Alright, show me your bag. Alright, so we got the stuff. Mm -hmm. We got two slices of pizza. Hold on, hold on. And four spicy wings. Beautiful. Alright. Something tells me we should have went to a fancier 7-Eleven. <laughs> so I just got two pieces. I got a leg and a wing. Beautiful. And what you waiting on your sandwich? Yeah. So we got the chicken and we got a sub. And I don't know what that is on top, but hopefully it's good. Go ahead. As we ensure everyone's safety, please visit www.wawa.com. We have four meatballs and a small macaroni. Um, and we have a little baby turkey salad. Well, a hoagie. So we have all of our food here now, all together, and it's still all warm, which was my main concern, but it's all good, so we're going to start with our 7-Eleven, because that's what we got first. Um, did you want your slice of pizza? Sure. So the pizza is like room temperature now. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, it is one down vote. Mm -hmm. It's pretty mediocre. You know, tastes like oven pizza, or you can buy from like the store. It's so. definitely not DiGiorno. <laughs> we have a DiGiorno stand in the crowd. <laughs> I'm really excited to taste these wings though. I think these are going to be really good. I'll try one. They're not that spicy. That way you can get a second second opinion. <laughs> oh god. Mm. They're kind of fatty. Dry. Do you want the ranch? Mm -mm. Okay. So, on a scale from one to ten, what would you rate the pizza? Four. Four? A four. Okay. On a scale from one to ten, I'd rather give the pizza a four or five. Um, if it was warm, it would have a fighting chance. Um, 
So I can't I, don't know, I can't really deduct points off of that because it was warm at some point. But it was okay. Um, I've had worse pizza, so can't give it a zero. But it was very mediocre. Um, you know, if you're like road tripping and you want to get pizza, then most pizza places are open late anyway. So I would just get pizza from a pizza place. All right, so. Oh, and then the wings. What would you rate the wings? I'll give them a six. Six? Um. Uh, five. That's awesome. Because they're kind of dry. Yeah. I'm more disappointed at the, the level of spiciness. I thought they were going to be spicier. You know, if I want something that's spicy, then I want to be spicy. So, yeah, I give them a five, too. They're, they're not terrible, but they're not great. So, very. Um, overall, 7 wasn't food. Um, average. Um, gas station food, you know, not blowing me away, um, but yeah. So, our second contender is Royal Farms, and um, I've never eaten at Royal Farms, so I'm completely in the dark um, on what this is going to hold. I don't know what this is. I ordered chicken and a sub, and I don't know what is in here. Oh, okay, they gave me more chicken. Interesting. So you can have that. Mm-hmm. We got a thigh, no, we got a leg and a wing. And then we have a turkey sandwich that we're gonna compare with the Wawa turkey sandwich. Um, and this is their world famous chicken. Yeah, their world famous chicken. Mm. So let's see what it's talking about. <coughs> Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Wait just a minute. How can they roll farms? I'm not mad at it. Mm -hmm. That's some chicken I can get down with. Okay, like... What is happening right now? This is like actually really good. Mm -hmm. Like, it's juicy mm -hmm. and it's flavorful. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. It's not very crispy. Nope. Reminds me of KFC chicken. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It has like a KFC esque taste to it. Mm hmm. Which kind of blowing my mind. But this came from a gas station? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm very impressed. I think it's worth like, let me check the receipt. I think it's like five bucks, like five, six bucks. So I got the sandwich too. So, very good. And here's a turkey sub. Right, so now we're trying a hoagie. No, not a hoagie, a sub from Royal Farms. And the only reason I got a sub from there was because I, I knew I wanted to get a sub from Wawa and I wanted to compare them. So um, let's see. I got a regular turkey with provolone, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, honey mustard, mayo, and pickle, I think. So, yeah.
drip too hard. Don't stand too close. You might go around and drown. <laughs> Off this way. It is very juicy. Mm-hmm. I like it. I mean, to me, all subs taste the same, you know? Like, a sub is a sub. I don't know how you could really mess up a sandwich. It's fresh, like, what do you think? I like it, it's good. You didn't do the, the rating. Oh. What do I rate it? Um, I don't know. I mean, it was soft and chewy. I like chewy. Um, Oh, my, the best job in the whole world. But, I mean, I give it like a 7 or an 8. I concur. 6.5. <laughs> this one's already really small. So, do you have a knife where you can cut it? Thank you. This is like a Thanksgiving dinner knife. I know, right? Compensating for something. <laughs> We got a lot of footage that you're gonna have to go through. That's okay. I kind of have a picture of an idea of how I want to go about it. Mm-hmm. Like right now, you're gonna have to edit all of that that I just said out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just letting it roll. Okay, so pretty much, I think I I tried to get all the same ingredients as the first ones. So same deal, same turkey kind of. So. Spins on this one. This one is fresh. It tastes different. Mm hmm. I like this one more. It's just weird. Tastes fresh. Tastes fresh? Yes, like they got fresh fruits and vegetables and all types of stuff. Like they went out back and killed the turkey themselves. Let me stop. But it's fresh. Okay, yeah. I was thinking, I was like, it's, it, it tastes different, but it's the same thing. Mm hmm. So, but yeah, this one has spinach on it. Um,. And I guess it's fresher. I don't know. I don't know how to gauge the freshness of things. Like, I don't know. But I guess it is. So, it's really good. The bread is really good, too. Mm-hmm. It kind of seems like sourdough. Which is like my favorite kind of bread. And so last but not least, I wanted to try two sides. Um, Cause this is like a comparison rating, but also a taste testing. Um, Cause I have, I have eaten one thing from Wawa before. I had um, a sub that my friend got me. I don't remember what it was, but it was good. If I remember correctly. Um, but I love meatballs, so I could not resist the opportunity to try them. But these are kind of weird looking. Like, these are like in some kind of like tomato sauce. Like, what? Like, can you get a close up on these meatballs? They're like weird looking. Like, I've never had tomato based meatballs. I thought they were like barbecue. But I don't know. Even more of a reason for me to try them. And then just some standard macaroni um, that I really love. Um, so I hope they don't disappoint me with that. But here we go. For moist and soft. So it tastes like turkey meat. 
don't know. Like, they're really soft to me. So, I don't know. I like them. It wasn't one I was expecting, but they're good. Like, they're not an offensive taste or anything. They're kind of a very mellow taste. Like, you don't get a whole lot of tomato. I don't know. They're almost kind of bland, if I like. Like, they're so not offensive. It's like, do I really taste anything? You don't really get any sauce. You really just taste the meatball itself. I don't know. But as soon as I ate it, I immediately started to feel full. So, I'm coming to the conclusion of my taste testing. But, I got four. Do you want to try the other ones? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm already at the conclusion of the taste testing. I'm ready to take a taste nap. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. The stock doesn't have a lot of flavor. They just really taste the meatball. Mm -hmm. But the meatball's good, so. Rating? Hmm? Rating. Oh. Um. I guess I'll give it a seven. Because it's good, but the stock doesn't have flavor, which is weird. It's like throwing me off. It tastes like something I've had before. Like, it has a very familiar taste to it. Mm. So, this macaroni looks very standard. Looks cheesy and flavorful. But, we shall see. It's not baked, so it can't be a 10. Points have already been deducted. <laughs> Reminds me of um, what's that company? Boston Market. It reminds me of Boston Market's macaroni and cheese, which I like completely existed for when I was like in eighth grade. But yeah, this is good. It's very cheesy, and it tastes good. And yeah, there's a lot of it. Like you get a full container. Yeah, I like it. Should have gotten small. Lunch for tomorrow. Yeah. But yeah, it's good. Um, nothing was horrible, but I'd probably say, oh, for my rating for this, probably give it eight. I'm trying to think of like the best macaroni I've ever had and how far away it is from that. Um, but yeah, I guess I give it an eight. I mean, it's pretty good. Um, it's really cheesy, which I like. Um, it's like really thick cheese, like it's holding it all together, not like sliding around in the cheese, you know? So yeah, it's really good. Um, it also reminds me of KFC's macaroni and cheese. Um, but KFC and Boston Market have similar cheeses. Um, but yeah, so yeah, give it that eight. Overall, my favorite thing I've tried, I don't know, I'm torn between the hoagie from Wawa and the fried chicken from Raw Farms. Fried chicken. Fried chicken? Yeah. It was really good. If I had eaten the, the fried chicken with this macaroni, that would have been really good. <laughs> um, dang, I don't know, I really like, I'm really big on sandwiches. Like. I've always been a big sandwich head. I don't know. I'm like torn. I think it's a tie for me. <coughs> um, for me, the fried chicken, the Royal Farms fried chicken, and the turkey hoagie from Wawa are like neck and neck. Um, my least favorite item? <sighs> um, I don't know which I dislike more. The pizza or the, the wing from 7-Eleven. Um, I'll probably say the wing. I think the spicy wing is probably my least favorite thing because it was so fatty. I'm not big into fatty wings. Like, I'm not saying like lean, but I don't know. It just, it was weird. It was a weird texture to me. I couldn't get with it. So, but the pizza was eatable, um, edible. But yeah. Um, so, 
I'm very pleased with what I got and I think that this was a really good experience <laughs> and now when I go on road trips which I do pretty frequently um, not as of right now of course but in the future I know better places where to stop <gasps> So I hope you guys learned as much as I did today and can now better make decisions on where to get the best gas station food. So leave a comment on what gas station you'd like the best and where you'd like to get your food from and leave a comment on what you want me to do next. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment and push the bell for notifications on whenever I upload a new video and I hope you drink plenty of water and have a great rest of your day.